Hello everybody, welcome back, bike over here, yes, bike over, let's talk about inflation and the markets, so one of the things I've been thinking about these days is how ridiculous this you know, type of thinking of people always think that the prices are going up. Like, like for example, they think that their stock price are going up. They think they are making money in the stock market. Even some people in Bitcoin, they think, oh, Bitcoin is going up. Or maybe, you know, like, the, the problem is the currency right? the currency is falling in a rapid pace rapidly right it's falling all currencies in the world right i'm not talking about money i'm talking about currency those are not monies those, those are currencies right so and most of those currencies they are looking at each other, right? It's a race to the bottom, right? They're all, you know, competing to see who can get to the bottom fastest, right? So, you know, saying so, people in the stock market, right, thinking, hey, my prices are going up. Like, my uh, my stock price go up. Or maybe my, my home price is going up. But they don't realize how bad the currency is falling right they don't realize how how bad it is out there like i checked my you know my milk the milk price you know over one year just one year the price of milk went up like 25 percent right if you have a kid right how are you supposed to pay for this type of inflation, right? You can't afford to have a kid, right? It's not like, that's why you see it's, it's so difficult for people to have a kid, right? So, now you have eggs problem, eggs, you know, prices are going up and all those things. And people say, oh, it's because of shortage. No, it's not because of shortage. It's just because, you know, the money is not valuable enough to compensate for the services, you know? Like, it's that simple. So, when I look at this, like, th when I think about how, like, ridiculous that is, like, it's, it's weird. And, you know, it's easier to look in other countries where hyperinflation happened before and to, to see what happened there. And it's the same reaction, right? People think, oh yeah, the stock market is going up, you know, prices are going up, and people st are still buying stocks, right? So when they should do the hours, they should buy gold, right? They should buy Bitcoin, but they are buying stocks, right? So what do you think the stock gonna do for you in an environment where they are printing infinite amount of money. So, you know, if, if, the, if the value of the money is zero, right? It doesn't matter how much, you know, money you have, you still get zero, right? In terms of value in your portfolio. So this is what people don't understand. It's like, you're still losing money. It doesn't matter how high the stock market is going up, you're still a loser, right? So, and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's weird. You know, if you're not valuing your money based on how many ounces of gold you have or how many sats you have, then you're still a loser, right? So, you don't want your money to be denominated into fiat. You want your money to be denominated into real money. Right, so this is the that's the trick you would understand. It's like you're gonna you're gonna start thinking in in in, in satoshi term, 
right? If you take on Satoshi's, then you, you your life will be richer and richer, right? But if you're thinking in, you know, fiat, how many cents, how many dollars you have, then you will get poorer and poorer, right? Because there's money that can get be printed infinitely, you know? Regardless if they say, oh yeah, they're gonna waste weight and all this nonsense, right? But they're still printing money, sending to Ukraine. Right? Like they're send, sending money, like to like crazy, to all over the places. Right? You know they are, you know, inflation reduction. Act, right? It's like all what the fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if sorry for my language, where it's like, okay, what do you mean? Like inflation reduction act, like and then like trillions, right? So how the hell? Like what are you gonna do? Are you creating like more services? My good did you did you find a like a, a good way to you know to have a breakthrough in technology to 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 manufacture things faster like what what happened right did you did you create like did you find a better way to make eggs more efficient way no no you're just gonna spend money give it out to people right you, you know, you, you know your, the people you like and that's it, right? That's it. So that's why all is gonna be, you know, that's most of these economies. They always gonna be in a black hole of, you know, poverty and, you know, inflation. And inflation is just like it's simple. It's just how much money you're spending. That's just expansion of the money. It's not like the prices. The prices are just exposing the fraud, right? You know, there's nothing to do with the prices. The prices just, they are just exposing the fraud, right? Think about it. Let's say you are an employer. Let's say you are an employee, right? You're working for a company, right? And then they print so much money, right? The value of the money is worthless, right? And then you say, hey, um, I need more money for my work, right? Did you, like, is it because of you? No, it's just because it requires you to take. It, 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 you need more money to put fuel on your car, to go to the work, and to do the job. Right? That's what happened. So it's not a problem. It's not your problem. It's because the money is bad. So that's why you need more of that unit of this currency to be able to go to work. Right? So uh, because you can't, you, can, you can't make it, or uh, you know. You know, other, other, other than that, right? So you have to find a way to compensate for those expenses. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Take in money term, right? Denominate your money, your value, your your wealth into satoshis or units of gold, right? At least as unit of gold, then you will be, you will feel richer and richer. You will be richer but not in dollar term because you will be poor. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next TikTok. Hey guys, I just uh, wanted to make a, just an extension of the talk and I just wanted to continue talking about you know this uh, uh, problem of inflation and inflation. So because because this is a, a big subject and most people don't even understand. And and I see a lot of country they are raising weight. And one of the thing I think it's it's very intentional what is happening, what's going on in the economy, and why those central banks are you know raising weight. If you really think about it in terms of, you know, um, in a defensive way, right? Most people don't think defensively, right? They think, oh, okay, most people, uh, they think those guys are good guys, right? But I don't think those guys are good guys. Why? Because, first of all, they create the problem, right? They create the inflation problem. And then the same guys come out and they say, hey, I have a solution for you. What's the, what's the solution? Well, we have to raise weight to make you um, poorer so you become, you don't have the incentive to spend, right? So you cannot spend money, right? We have to punish you. 
for spending money, right? So, so they do that. So for to do that, they have to raise rate, make it impossible for you to spend, to lose money, right? So, and so they can uh, make you feel poor, right? So now, um, and not only that, but they want you to lose your job, right? So basically, they want to raise interest rate and crash the market. When they crash the market, they make everything more expensive so that like, you can lose your job, right? They always talking about, oh yeah, the market is still strong. What they mean is because there's still job. Right? They don't want jobs, right? Think about it. They don't want you to have a job. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to leave it here, guys. I hope you get the point I'm trying to make. And uh, I'll see you again in the next Tuxi Talk to talk more about this, you know, this, all this criminal act that's happening in the background. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Pi Cover Year. Yes, let's talk um, interest rate. Interest rate and wage, uh, real wages. So, what's happening right now is this problem. No, I just, you know, finish work. And uh, this is a toxic talk after work. Right? So, so anyways, um, I, I feel like I want to talk about wages and, and what the government is, you know, telling us. Right? The government is telling us, hey, uh, your wages, wages may, you, you're going to have a wage spiral, right? So, and, and you think about, like, since 2008, right? Anybody who works in, in the middle class, right? If you have a labor job or you work manufacturing or let's say you work uh, in any, any job in the middle class, right? Let's say you work in a restaurant, you work, uh, you know, Anything you do in the real world, right? You get paid less and less and less, right? You, you don't really get you, you don't really get compensated for what you do, really, because inflation is up, right? So they had a, a plan to put inflation at two percent, right? I thought I think inflation was at five percent, even higher when they was saying it was at 2%, right? So, now they support, they were suppressing the interest rate, right? So now, because of all the suppression, so they printed so much money to do this, right? They inflated the money supply. So now it was hard to, you know, to see that, right? Because they they had so much influence and so much money, right? But now the value of the money start to, you know, show the fraud, right? You know, so the the fraud start to come up. So that's what's going on in one side, and the other side, they are saying, hey. They are they are scared of a wage spiral. So what they see that what basically they are saying is they don't want your wages to go up accordingly, right? Regardless if ISIS is going up, like whatever is going up, but they don't want you they don't want you to get paid accordingly. So you're supposed to slave for them like as much as you you can you you, you humanly can. Right? So they don't care about you having a job, you can probably get paid. No. Right? So this is a problem here. So they instead of having for you to have a job to to to, to provide for your family, have a future, no. They think this is a scary thing. This is this is very bad, right? So what they do, 
they want to have you, right, to lose your job, right? They want to crash the economy, right? They want to crash the economy, make everybody poor, instead of the little guy come up. Right? Think how about how stupid that is, how crazy that is, right? And people still think that central bank, you know, is a good thing. Like people still think we need the central bank. Like, what do you mean we need the central bank? It's like the central banks are, are saying they need to crush the economy. Right? You're not people are not listening. They said they, we need to crush the economy. The economy is too strong. People are too too rich. Right? Regardless. Uh, of the data, the data is saying people are just buying from their credit card. Right? They are just, you know, people are just, you know, their credit card is maximized, right? But they are saying something else. They are lying to you, saying, "Oh, they can, you know, crash inflation, right, with interest rate, which is never possible, right?" So if you wanna fix inflation well you have to the cause of the problem you have to question the cause of the problem in the first place anything else is it's just propaganda and lie so anyways I just wanted to throw this out there um, I know this may not be uh, you know like I mean people want to listen they want to listen but it's just like this whole clown world out there you know, just, you know, gi giving people all this propaganda is to believe, right? So, I, I know you guys who are listening to me, you are smart enough. You're not going to believe that, right? So, you're not going to believe those things. But, hey, I, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just uh, a guy on YouTube, right? So, making some toxic talk, right? And uh, I'll see you guys again. I'll see you again in the next Toxic Talk. This was by Cover. And uh, yeah. Um, thank you guys for listening. Bye, Cover.